window shopper. How's your leg? It hurts a little. And your stomach? Empty as a football. And do you love life? I'm not too active. Anything else bothering you? Mm-hmm. Who are you? Reading from top to bottom. Lisa? Carol. Fremont. Is this the Lisa Fremont who never wears the same dress twice? Only because it's expected of her. It's right off the Paris plane. You think it'll sell? Well, that depends on the quote, you know. Let's see, now there's the airplane ticket over and import duties, hidden taxes, profit markup. A steal at $1,100. $1,100? Uh, they ought to list that dress on the stock exchange. <laughs> Why, we sell a dozen a day in this price range. Who buys them? Tax collectors? Even if I had to pay, it would be worth it. Just for the occasion. Why, is something big going on somewhere? It's going on right here. It's a big night. Well, it's just an old run-of-the-mill Wednesday. Well, the calendar's full of them. It's opening night of the last depressing week of L.B. Jeffries in a cast. Uh, well, I haven't noticed a big demand for tickets. Ah, uh, that's because I bought out the house. You know, the cigarette box has seen better days. Oh, I picked that up in Shanghai, which has also seen better days. It's cracked and you never use it. It's too ornate. I'm sending up a plain flat silver one with just your initials engraved. Oh, that's no way to spend your hard-earned money. Well, I wanted to. Oh! What would you think of starting off with dinner at 21? Well, you have perhaps an ambulance downstairs? Ah, better than that. <laughs> 21. Thank you for waiting, Carl. The kitchen's right there on the left. Oh, I'll take the wine. Good evening, Mr. Jeffries. Oh. Just put everything in the oven, Carl, on low. Yes, madam. Let's open the wine now. All right. Some Great big glass full. Now the corkscrew right over there. Yeah, I'll do it. Big enough? Yeah, that's fine. I can't think of anything more boring or tiresome than what you've been through. In the last week must Let be the me hardest. Sit. Uh, yeah, I want to get this thing off and get moving. Well, I'm going to make this a week you'll never forget. Fine, thanks. This will take care of the taxi as well. Thank you, Miss Freeman. Have a pleasant dinner, Mr. Jeffries. All right, good night. Good night. What a day I've had. Were you tired? Not a bit. Oh, I was all morning in a sales meeting. Then I had to dash to the Waldorf for a quick drink with Madame Dufresne. It was just over from Paris with some spy report. And then I had to go to 21 and have lunch with the Harper's Bazaar people. And that's when I ordered dinner. Then I had two Paul showings 20 blocks apart. Then I had to have a cocktail with Leland and Slim Haywood for trying to get his new show. And then I had to dash back and change. Well, now tell me. Tell me. Now, what was Mrs. Hayward wearing? Oh, she looked wonderfully she cool. Did. She had on the most divine Italian handprint. Oh, Italian. Italian. Oh, Italian. you. Imagine. To think I planted three nice items in the columns about you today. You did. Well, you can't buy that kind of publicity. I know. Someday you may want to open up a studio of your own here. Oh, no, 
How would I run it from, say, uh, Pakistan? Jeff, isn't it time you came home? You could pick your assignment. Well, I wish there was one I wanted. Make the one you want. You mean leave the magazine? Yes. For what? For yourself and me. I could get you a dozen assignments tomorrow. Fashions, portraits. When I don't laugh, I could do it. Well, that's what I'm afraid of. Can you see me driving down to the fashion salon in a Jeep, wearing combat boots and a three-day beard? Wouldn't that make a hit? Well, I could see you looking very handsome and successful in a dark blue flannel suit. Now, uh, let's stop talking nonsense, shall we? Hmm? I guess I'd better start setting up for dinner.